So guys, I am a teacher by trade. I've made a lot of worksheets throughout my whole time of teaching. Literally over a thousand, it must be thousands by now. So I've made this set of word finds. I've made the seasons for lots of them. So, you know, winter, summer, spring, and autumn. I've also put in coloring pages behind the actual word finds and the words to make it pop and for kids to actually have two things to do. Not only do the word find, but also color in. It's not only for kids, it could be for middle schoolers or high school students. Or you can even make your own for, you know, adults, for KDP, for your classroom, for an event such as a baby christening and you do your own word find. The world is your oyster and this is really fun to do and it's also commercial free with the images plus the platform that I use to make this word search. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to go up to create a design, custom design, design, make sure they're in inches, 8.5 times 11 inches, and we're creating a new design from scratch. So here we go. It's a typical US letter, blank slate. So what we're going to do is to make our very first word find. We also need to open ChatGPT. Now I've got ChatGPT4, but I'm going to change to 3.5. And remember, you can use this for free. You can also use Canva for free but the only thing you do need to do if you're doing exactly what I'm doing with a coloring page you may need to pay for chat GPT for for the coloring book hero let's start off with create me 20 words with the theme spring list them down Great, so I've got 20 and they all look good. Have a quick look. Now I'm going into puzzlemaker.com. We are now into online puzzlemaker.com. So it's puzzle-maker.com and it's very simplistic, but it can be a little bit confusing at the same time. So we're going to make our word search. Now, yay for us, this platform is completely free for you to use, plus it's commercial free. We don't need to worry about all of these. This is just your simple, straight up word find or word search. So I'm going to go back into chat GPT and I'm going to select all of the words and then I'm going to right click and copy. Then I'm going to go back into puzzlemaker.com and I'm going to right click and then paste all the words in, just like that. Up here, I need to put in a title and I'm just going to leave it as spring. Let's create the puzzle. And there it is in the middle here. And as you'll see, it's made the puzzle. It's made a very nice puzzle with a beautiful picture at the back, but this costs. So you've got better buy, best buy, and you've got free, which is good. This goes onto two pages, which means they made it for free. They want you to upgrade, but we can get around that. What I'm going to do now is go to print next, and we've got a new page, and then we're going to go over to puzzle, good puzzle here. And as you will see, I'll click out of that to print because I don't want to print. There is the sheet. Here's a workaround. I'm now going to take a screenshot just of the word find itself, word search. And that's going to go onto my desktop because that's where it defaults to. Won't worry about grabbing these words at the moment. Now I'm going back into chat GPT, but this time you can make these word finds without these pictures behind them, but I think they just give it a good pop and kids love to color in. So we're going to go one step further. I'm going into chat GPT-4, coloring book hero. That's right, moving it down so you can see. I'm going to now write, create a coloring page with the theme, I think it was spring, wasn't it? Spring, make it for 12 year olds. The reason why is because if I go for 12 year olds, it tends to be a bit more sophisticated with the picture rather than like just leave it as is and it will just create a very simplistic picture, which I don't want. I want more to color in. So this takes a wee while to come in. I will skip straight to it. And that's pretty good. We're going to select that. So I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy image. You can download that with the little arrow button, but I'm not going to. I'm going straight onto my blank canvas back on Canva. I'm going into it, click into it, and then I'm right clicking and I'm going to paste. And there's my image. I'm going to put it in the corner and I'm going to drag it right down and that's good to go for spring. I think I might change these up a little bit and make them lighter so kids can color them in. So I'm going up to edit photo. I'm going to go to adjust here, click on those, and maybe I can make them a bit brighter. That works a little bit. Contrast. You just sort of play around with these. Whites you might want to bring in and that's more color inable for students. Saturation and then sharpness. They're sharp, more sharp. Clarity and that's fine. Now I am going to go over to elements and I'm going to get a shape. 
just a square shape and then I'm going to make a square for my word find to pop into. And you may be asking me, what did I just do then? Simply, all I did was dragged in this screenshot from my desktop and then I put it over top here and now it's in Canva. So all you do is you click into that and as you can see, there it is. I'm going to get rid of that little gray one there because I just realized I don't even need that gray box just yet. All I need to do to actually give it a black outline, which I want, like a border, as you go up here, border style, click on the line there, and then you might make it thicker or not, depending how you want it. Might leave it like that, so you can read all of the letters around here, and that looks good. Now I'm going to go back into Elements and grab that same little square, because now I need a title, and I'm going to spread it all along here. It's gray, I don't want that, so I'm going to swap out the color to white. There's white, but I still want a border on the title as well. So I'm going into borders up here, click the line. Oh no, I might make it a little bit thicker. Yeah, that's better. So over at text here, on the left hand side, I'm going to add a heading. And here's my heading, I'll just drag it up and give it spring as the title. Spring. Red. Set. You can call it a word find. Then I'm going to move it over into the middle. I am going to go to effects. I'm going to go to hollow. And I'm going to change the font to something I've already downloaded. And I've got this from Creative Fabrica, I believe. Or any font will do that you like. And I've left it purposely blank so kids can color this in if they want to. Okay, that's great. Now I am also going to create a box for the words down here. And all I do is just copy and paste. I'm going to copy the title box copy go down to the bottom command v or control v if you're on a pc and it's just copied the box and this is where all my words are going to go into i'm going to go back in to chat gpt click out of there i'm going to go into my spring words list and just grab five at a time so i highlight grab them copy so i've right clicked i'm going to go back into canva now i'm going to go to add a subheading i'm going to drag it down select it right click paste right there and there you go but i don't want the numbers one to five so i'm just going to delete these so click in there and delete I don't want it centered, I want it left, left justified. So here we go. So I've got 20 of these words all, all up. I'm going to change the font and then I'm going to put the rest in. And if by chance it goes up here because I forgot to copy and paste again, that's fine. All I do is click out, click in again, drag it down. It's really just um, clicking in, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Okay, so now you sort of eyeball it. Is it centered? Does it look good? Do I need to move anything, etc., etc.? So there is my word find that I've made from scratch. Pretty much everything is free apart from just the coloring page that you could easily download for free online. Make sure that it's copyright free. You could go to Creative Fabrica and pay for one if you wanted to. All of these sheets at the back, they've got such a great choice in there. And so what I've done is I've done spring, summer, autumn, and winter and I'm going to show you an example of my first slot. So I did spring first and this is a different one from my last one with different words and then I did winter, autumn, you can call it fall, and summer. Now what I've also done is I've made sure that I've gone back into Puzzle Maker and what you do is you actually go back out of there and then what I did is I screenshotted the solutions. Now I haven't found a way to open that up yet. I think you need to pay for that. So that's automatically gone to my desktop. And so what I did from there is I just pasted them. I dragged them onto the computer like I've just shown you here and then I've just put them there. But it comes in color but you can easily adjust the color by going to uh, click into the photo, edit photo and adjust again. Okay, so that's what I did there. Now I've also made another 
activity page. So I've used the snowman winter sheet, coloring sheet that I made from Dali E. And I've just put them up there with a border. And I've also made a mini winter word find using chat GPT and then wrote the words here. And I just sent it those just for looks. Mini word find. So you could make this into a KDP if you wanted. And then you can make that into a booklet. Or you can put them for your classroom or for your kids. You can even make your own word finds of your own choice. So the world's your oyster, really. And what I've done at the bottom is I screenshotted both of these and then I made them fit in so that it's easy printing, like I showed you in the beginning. So there you go. There you have it, everybody. I hope you learned a lot about how to make your own free word finds. Thanks so much for listening. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And we'll see you in the next video.